Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about interpolation. As we all know that interpolation is important for the numericals of ship stability and also for the numericals of practical navigation. So in this video, we will discuss that how you can use this process of interpolation manually okay, to find the unknown values which lies between the known values. Okay, But in the next video, I will tell you about the how to use this process of interpolation directly on your scientific calculator without using pen paper. So I will request you to keep your uh, scientific calculator ready for our, for our next video. So let's start about this interpolation. So in shortly, interpolation is defined as the process of determining unknown values which lies between the known values. Okay, so here we have a question from SIP stability. The question is find hydrostatic particulars of MV Hinship floating at the hydrostatic draft of 7.66 meter. Okay. So here we will not discuss about these terms. Okay. As this uh, video is not for SIP stability. So you have to concentrate only on these numbers for the process of interpolation. Okay. So we know that uh, here we can see that uh, this uh, for these two draft different values are given of different terms. Okay. And we have to find the, uh, the values for these different terms for the draft of 7.66 meter. Okay. So how we can do? First, you have to find the difference between these two draft, okay, two known values. So the, dra uh, the, the difference is of 0 0.2, okay. Then you will find the difference between these two displacement, okay. So the uh, the difference is 468, okay. Now we will find the difference between these two values, okay, the unknown value and the previous known value. So the difference is of 0 0.0. .0 6 okay now we can say that at the difference of uh, 0 0.2 okay when the dra uh, when the draft changes or increase about 0 0.2 meter then the displacement is also increasing how much 4 point, uh, uh, 468 okay so now if the draft will increase 0 0.06 meters then how much the displacement will increase okay the displacement will increase as the draft is increasing we can see according to the given data the displacement is also increasing okay so here for 7.66 we know that the displacement will increase but how much so to find that value we will do this cross multiplication okay so the value of x is 468 into 0.06 upon 0.2 okay so from this we will get the value of x is equals to 140.4 okay so it means that the displacement for 7.66 meter will increase to 140.4 from the displacement of 7.6 okay so to find the value uh, for 7.66 what we will do we will add this value of x to the displacement of 7.6 that is 15693 plus 140.4 okay so from here we will get the value 15833.4 okay so the value is 15833.4 okay so as we know that the as we can see that the displacement was increasing that's why we are adding this value of x to the previous one but in case if the value is decreasing okay here the, if the value is decreasing at that time you will subtract the value of x from the previous value for that let's take an example of this lcb okay here we can see that for the draft of 7.6 the uh, value of lcb is 72.690 and for the draft of 7.8 the value of lcb is 72.64 one okay so here the difference between these two given lcbs are is 0 0.049 okay so here we can say that at the difference of 0 0.2 difference in lcb is 0 0.049 so what will be at the difference of 0 0.06 okay so again we will do cross multiplication okay so uh, x is equals to 0 0.049 into 0 0.06 upon 0 0.0. So from here, 
will get the value 0 0.015 okay but now here you can see that as the draft is increasing from 7.6 to 7.8 the lcb is decreasing so here also the draft is increasing okay from 7.6 to 7.66 so the lcb will decrease okay so how much it will decrease so it will decrease uh, so how much it will decrease it will decrease according to the value of x okay so for the well, uh, uh, draft of 7.66 the new lcb will be 72.690 minus the value of x that is 0 0.015 so the value of uh, so the value of lcb for the draft of 7.66 is 72.675 okay so the value of uh, value is 72.675 here you can see that the as the draft is increasing the value is decreasing and that's why we are subtracting this value of x from the previous one so this is how you can use this process of interpolation manually for the numericals of shift stability now let's see for uh, how you can use this process of interpolation on the numericals of navigation so here we have a question where uh, departure is 127.6 and the course is 50 degree and when the departure is 132.1 the course is 51 degree and we have to find the value of course for the departure of 130.1 so first uh, here what we have to do as we all know that the values of departure are in nautical miles or in you can say in minutes so you will convert this course into minutes okay this course are given in degrees but we will convert them into minutes so here we can say that when the value of departure is 127.6 the course is 3000 minutes okay and when the value of departure is 132.1 the course is 3060 minutes according to this given course in degrees okay and we have to find the value for 130.1 so again uh, we will do the same process first we will find the difference between these two okay so difference between these two is 4.5 and difference between their course is of 60 minute and difference between these two is 2.5 and we don't know the difference between their course okay so we'll put it x so the value of x is 60 into 2.5 upon 4.5 from here you will get the value of x is equals to 33.33 now as we know that we had converted all these values into minute okay so this value of x is also in minute and we can see that when the departure is increasing the course is also increasing and here also we can see that 130.1 is greater than 127.6 so here also departure is increasing in this in this case so the course will increase so we will add this value of x to the previous one so for the departure of 130.1 the course will be 50 degree plus 33.33 minutes so the value is 50 degree 33.3 minutes okay so okay. you can verify this question from the textbook page number 35 and this question is given in the book of Hinship mv Hinship on page number 12 so you can verify these questions from there also and i will request you to find the values of these remaining terms so this was the process of uh, process of interpolation manually okay how you can use this process of interpolation manually to solve the questions of ship stability and uh, practical navigation in my next video i will tell you that how you can use your scientific calculator okay you can use this scientific calculator directly for this process of interpolation without using pen paper so again i will request you to keep your scientific calculator ready for the next video to find these values by the process of interpolation directly through this scientific calculator so this was all about interpolation process of interpolation manually so i hope you will like the video so please click the like button share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much